Good morning and welcome back to the Empty Angler on what is going to be a glorious day. Look at those colours behind us. Uh, it's just gone four o'clock. We've been up since two, just getting ready and picking Dino up. Ellie is with me as well. We're currently catching bait. We're after mackerel, but what we've dropped in on is a tiny little shoal of what I call scad, horse mackerel. That's actually the biggest one we've got so far, or one of. A lot of them are tiny. They're going to be really good baits to put on hull anyway. If we was bassing today, I'd be having a party because these are absolutely killer bass baits. Uh, but we've got probably a dozen of those now. Um, and we're just waiting really for a few mackerel. We've got some frozen baits. And the plan today is we are going to go turbiting. And we're not testing new grounds out turbiting. We are actually going turbiting to where I know I've caught them before. And Ellie has just got a beautiful little scout. I'll show you. This is the size we're getting them in absolutely tiny tiny perfect little bait so these will go on hole anyway for turbot turbot will smash these when we're out there so plan today is fisher mark that i know has turbot i've caught turbot on there before both me ellie and dean have all caught turbot there before but look at this look at this oh dropped it there you go <laughs> tiny tiny scad so yeah a bit more bait fishing and then we're gonna nip off two or three marks today if a turbot are playing ball we'll fish them uh, if they're not, then we're going to go wrecking for a little bit, try and pick up some collet, pollock, cod and bass. And then finally, we're going to end up playing on some taupe. That's the plan for the day. Fingers crossed it comes off. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, i got three. Well, we're on the boat now. Uh, Ellie's just got three whiting up. Can we still use them? And I've got a bite here on my turbo gear. We're just coming up the bank now. We're on top of the bank. I just have a lovely bite. I mean, the fact we've got whiting is not a particularly great sign. If you're getting white in, normally it's not a good sign for the turbot, but uh, are they all white in? Yeah. How big? Sort of 10 inch, 8 inch. Yeah, so Ellie's got a uh, mackerel and mackerel. We're trying to get some mackerel, because all we caught is scad on the way out. I've got a lovely bite on this rod. I've got another one on that one. But the first drop down with the feathers, and we've got a load of white in. So I've got a bite on this rod over here. Just stay with me, because this is our first drift here now, and we're the only ones out here at the minute. So, I want to just see, hopefully, we've come here before, and me and Dean have got tournament first drop, so hopefully, hopefully... Right, that's dropped out wherever that is. Yeah, hopefully we can get a tournament first drop. Yeah, we don't don't want white in first drop down with the feathers. Was that on the bottom, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Not the bottom. Not a great sign. We stay with us, guys, because uh. Yeah, we're gonna. We're the first ones on the mark, so hopefully. Ellie's got again. Hopefully, Ellie's got some mackerel, not white, and it's a bit of a fluke. But uh, I'm getting loads of rattly bites on my rod. The fishy mackerel feeling. If Ellie's pulling up feathers, and it sounds like she's struggling already. That don't bode well. Oh, no, no, we've got sand hill. Oh, sand hill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, nice one. Yeah. Ellie's got a launch. So if Dino, when he shows around here, we've got a launch sand hill, so that's good. That's a good sign. That's okay, it don't matter. All right, all right. I'll take it. <laughs> that's the best bait ever for turning. That there is a lovely launch. First one of the year, there we go. It's a lovely launch sand hill. We'll take that, that'll go in the bucket. Oh, this is the benefit of coming out deep is these are absolute jumbo mackerels they are they are jumbos they are lovely ellie well done Yay! don't catch us some food <laughs> yep yeah. right, the um the bait's here so we're just making the most of the bait i'm trying to catch some launts some uh, big sand eels but i've uh, got a load of mackerel but there's some lovely jumbo mackerel down there now so as well as trying to get bait we're also going to fish for the table Oh, there's another jumbo at the top there. Oh, nice. You get it in the water. Have a look at the water, really, please. There you go. And look at these mackerel when they come over. They are jumbos. Yeah, look at these. These are. Obviously, we will cut them up for bait if we need to. But that they are. They are lovely jumbo mackerel. Another one down here. It's even bigger this one. Even bigger, yeah. Wow. This one's even bigger. Oh. 
it out for a mackerel. Well, we've been here probably 20 minutes now. We're just, uh, it's dead slack water. I'm turbating, Ellie and Dean are going for mackerel. And this is the sort of stamp of mackerel we're getting. Hopefully the camera picks up the size, but that is a good 30 plus centimetres. Um, and they are big, big. These ones are too big really for bait. They're not, we could use them. But we're going to try and stock up on these now uh, and get some nice table fish for Ellie and Dean and other people that want them. Um, and then we're going to try and get some launch as well while we're here. Hopefully enough for bait today and some for the freezer. Um, and you never know, you might pick up a turbo. It is slack water now with 0 0.1, 0 0.2 knots. So we're not really going to move. We're not even on the bank. So um, don't expect anything yet. Once that tide turns, I'll reposition and we'll go again. And then it's six hours of solid trying to catch turbo. But looking all right so far. Yeah, going okay. Good mackerel. Well, without saying where I am and how far off I am, because I'm, I'm turbiting, let's just say we're a long way off. By long, I mean long. We're just sitting there, Dean Ellie, like I said, we're at slack water, Dean Ellie and mackerel in, and Dean's just went, what's that? 150 meters behind the boat is a ruddy great seal. Absolutely, his head looks huge. If he comes up again, I'll try and get him on camera. But we're in 200 foot of water here, I'll tell you, 150 foot at a minute, but it'll be 200 later. And we've got a seal out here around the boat. Hopefully that doesn't do anything for the fishing. He should be on the mackerel shoals mid-water, not on the bottom chasing what we're after. But yeah, we are a long, long, long way out and we've got a huge seal swimming around the boat. So I'll try and get him if I see him, but it looks like he's preoccupied. Well, tight turn now, we've finally got a drift. Dino's just had an absolutely pair of stonking mackerel, about a pound and a half. Big, big mackerel, I've put a photo in here now. Um, I've just had a bite on my turbot gear. So we've got a full drift now. I know where the banks are, so we're going to start getting a, a round and round sort of day. We are going to be pushing through at a bit of speed. I think these guys are going to carry on mackling for a little bit. Yeah, just stay with it, had a bite. So seal's a bit further down the river, a bit, a bit further down the tide. The rigs today we're using this we uh, my running ledger turbo rigs. Uh, it's, it is simply a running ledger, a length of fluoro, a couple of glow beads, and a little tiny uh, spinner blade. And we've now got enough tide now. We're now pushing still a little bit slow, about 0.8. Um, but we've got tide picking up and we're gonna be going up and down the banks now. And I just want to quickly touch on a lot of people don't catch turbo because they're just simply not on the bottom, the most basic of things. When you're going up and down the banks, you have to be in contact with the bottom the whole time. Um, and if you're not on the bottom, you're just not going to catch turbot. I know that sounds really obvious, but it is probably the number one reason why people won't catch turbot. Is they go up a bank and they'll be on the bottom, and then they come off the bank the other side where they should be letting line off, and they won't be paying attention or just through lack of experience, and the baits will just kite off the back of the bank, and they won't be on the bottom where the feeding fish are. That's why some days you'll have people that are bagging up on the turbo and others that aren't. So just pay attention to it. I have got another video that explains all that and I'll tag that in the description below now. Uh, in the meantime, Ellie and Dean are just going to carry on catching those jumbo mackerels for a bit until we see signs of life. Because at the minute it's just been mackerel, sand eel uh, and uh, we had some whiting at the start. But now we're getting a bit more in the zone. I'm just going to try and pick some of these flat fish up and then when we get a bit more of a glimpse everyone will go over the turbo because these mackerel here Dean, Dean and Ellie have both had some absolute stonkers Got a bit of glare on the sun, sorry. Um, you can tell we're coming over the bank shortly because the water is getting really turbulent. Just where the water's rushing up. I've got something on, but I don't know quite what it is. A lot of channel white is coming to the feathers behind me. It's not flying particularly heavy. Yeah. I see 
colour. It's the best gurney of the day. We've got a lovely tub gurney, and I think I've got a bite on the other rod as well. So I've got another one. There you go. You know, I had something on there, a little baby tub garnet. Nice colours, eh? See the fins there as well? Alright, just over the bank, we've got a fish on. Right over the point where you'd expect to get to it, we're just dropping off the bank. It's been a real hard slog. I'm I've lost my temper a few times already this morning. It's been a real hard slog. Weight's not holding bottom and um, missed bites, so just, yeah, it's not been great, but upgraded the weights now, heavier weights, and just doing a couple of things slightly differently, and I've got a fish, but we've been bombed out by whiting so far, and this doesn't feel particularly massive, so I'm not holding out much hope. But it'd be nice if it was a turbot, just like I said, I've done it. <laughs> Turbo! Woo! Net please, net please. Turbo guys, first one of the day. Only a baby, baby, baby turbo. Oh, quicker, 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 and a turbo of the boat. It was only tiny, but it was target species. And that's annoyed me. All, right, all three of us are on one side of the boat now. We're just coming into the area. I had a massive take a minute ago, proper yank the rod down, it wasn't a white inch. Now we're waiting now for turbots. A little bit of line off, don't, don't reel up. It's the last thing you want to do, you need to reel a little line off of anything, do you? Yeah, the proper bite, proper yank the rod down. The wind's dropped right off now, so it's a lot easier to control the drifts. Earlier on, it was becoming a nightmare, but. Ooh, had a bite then. Mm. Have another white on this. Getting through these white is going to be hard work. I think that's what I've got. It's like it's not, it's not tapping like a turban. Ah, she's getting hard work. Another channel. Just want one turbot and then I'll move off of here because it's getting hard work. But I know the turbot are down there, but getting through these is proving tough. Really tough. I might put a whole scad on in a minute, a little baby scad we got earlier. I think we got one on. Felt like a bear fish right, initially. Yeah, I, I, this, this could be what we're after. Uh, famous last words for me, but it felt like a better fish. And that back one's going to... Mine. Turbot! Go on, Dean! Go on, Dean! Go on, Dean! Yes! Oh, Sorry, it. back in. <laughs> it's the smallest <laughs> turbot in the world, but it's a turbot. I don't even care. Give <laughs> right, mine out in case Ellie's got one. Yeah, you got it. Smallest turbot in the world, but it's a turbot. That's down the deck for a second in case it holds it up. Looks just come out of the deck. Get in! I think whatever has it. It's the smallest turbot in the world, but I don't care. <laughs> Get in! Boom! Right, now this here is the smallest turbot you'll ever see me catch. And it is absolutely tiny but it's target species. We dropped one earlier, about this size actually, at the boat, and I did have a nice knock earlier from a slightly better fish. Um, but this is a turbot, lovely sandy colours. Now, if we look at the mouth, this is a baby, I can't see what I'm doing early, really. zoom back a little bit. If you look at the mouth, that there for a baby turbot, look, my finger goes in there easy. We fish a 6-0 circle look there. What they do is they lay in weight, and as a bait comes past, the mouth protrudes out, and they snap out and get their baits. They've got little bumps on the back, which Dean rightly said last year, because I remember it, it's called Nymphs. And uh, yeah, that's it. But he's gonna go back. And that there though, Ellie, you wanna film this going back? That there is target achieved. 
Ooh. Okay, this is the baits we're going to use for turbot. Got a little mackerel. We kept the bigger ones for dinner. All we're going to do is take a fillet knife just behind the fin, and then we're going to fillet the mackerel off. Now, always go away from yourself, and you'll feel the knife run down behind the spine. And then you take a nice fillet off like that. Obviously, we get another one on the other side, but you get a little bit of belly meat there that's quite thin. All you do is just slice that off. And then out there, you can bunch a few of those together and that'll give you a nice bait. And then that there, we probably could stick on whole. But what you're going to do is just slice it down the middle. And that then gives you two little baits. A little bit of thin, those ones. We would do on a bigger mackerel. Um, but that's how you fillet your mackerel off for your baits. Uh, hook it one through the thick end. Easy. Uh, Ellie might have something on. She had a cracking bite. Cracking bite. I, I might have one as well now. Saw it going, it's did everything right. She let a little bit of line off to give it time to take it. And it came back and she reeled down and she made a weird noise as if to say, oh, that's heavy. You still there? Mm -hmm. Hopefully Ellie's got her first turbo of the year. Oh, I've got a bite of mine now as well, guys. So I'm gonna put you back up here. It's all going off now and it's going off because we're coming to the top of the bank. That's where it kicks off on this particular tide, so I'm probably going to lose this fish now because I'm sorting the camera out, as always. I've got a bite as well here. Might be sat on it, I can feel it. You got there, else? Oh, yes, heavy. Are we going to get you in there? Yeah, sure. Just in case. If, nope. I strike, if I strike that thing, it's coming to you. Not pulling like a... Oh, oh there it is. That's not pulling. That's not pulling like a way thing. Keep the ball up high. Oh, yeah, keep going. Yep. It's that slow and steady. Come on in. Oh. Congo ale? What? What? Oh, <laughs> there you go. It's wetter than Otter's pocket, I think. Look wow, at it. Wow, it's so slippery. <laughs> it's so slippery. Yeah, there you go. Ellie with a Congo ale in the middle of nowhere on the sand. Hold it sideways for as I can see. Yeah, we thought it might be a turbot, but no, it's a plucky little Congo ale. But we're going to take that over white in today. Well done, Ellie! Woo! Woo! I think we got something on. It's not big. Maybe it was the last one, so... I was getting knocked for a while, so I decided just to hit it this time. Yeah, it's on. Whatever I've got is on. Got a bit violent with that one. I'm Playing about for ages, and I did what I normally don't do, and I struck it hard, and I looked it. Not big. Oh, sorry, that's right. I was just wondering you are. Another channel. Oh. <laughs> well, look, though, no, pretty well. Yeah. Oh, get, got tail out. <laughs> well, this is what happens when you mackerel fish, and you don't get them in. But look at the size of those. They are absolutely monster mackerel, but that's going to be a whole new set of feathers, eh? We're just going to move marks now, but before we do, we'd be silly to move off of these. Look at that, that is huge. But look at the size of this. Look at the size of these when he brings these in. Look at that. Oh, there goes the way. Look at these. If Dean just gets hold of one and sends it in, look at the size of these mackerel. They. Yeah, Dave, show that one. They are absolutely monstrous. That's why we're having a bit of time here mackerel fishing. That's why we're doing it. Right, Dino's hooked something, and he's saying it's not a mackerel. And he's got a bit excited off camera, so we're going to see what this is. We're just drifting around now. We're not on a bank. We're just on a bit of sand. We've got to be careful. We've got, full house of big ones. we've got a load of uh, a load of boats coming down now, so I'm going to have your wits about me. But... um. So it wasn't mackerel, but you did get cod on the ground and all that sort of stuff and anything can pick these up at any time. That's three pound mackerel then. Okay, it really went off earlier. Quite now, I don't know. I still reckon it's a mackerel. I think it's just maybe a couple of big ones. Uh, maybe. Oh. Fighting like a mackerel. Oh mate. Oh my good god. Net, net, no, get, 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 get it in, get it in. Oh my good god. Oh. Jesus Christ. That Ellie. is the that makes anyone we've got today look tiny. What is it? Hold, hold oh that my thing. god. Take that, that there looks absolute. 
guys, this doesn't do it justice on camera, and it never will do. Do you know the macro But that there, <laughs> no, hold it side on that, that'll do it justice. Wow. Hold that up like you would a bass. Do you need to measure it? That there. It's bigger than the last I one. I cannot tell you how big that is. Nice little car container going past us. We'll fill up the luxury cars, that one. Well, we're just knocking it up now, knocking on the head. Uh, end of a tough day. Been a lot, very, a lot more swelly than I thought it was going to be. Just bringing in, we had some sand eels down and uh, a couple of dead baits while we were tidying the boat up. Just, you know, last chance saloon. Bit of dead bait on the way up. And... There you go, spitting the last of his ink. No, don't give them water. It's the um, there we go. That's the uh, nice big cuttlefish, and this is this is how strong their beaks are. Look, he's actually there. He sliced that in half, and that was a thick, meaty sand eel that we caught earlier today. And that beak has sliced that. You wouldn't want that to be your finger, would you? Um, yeah, tough day. Caught a turbot. That's what we was after. But to be honest with you. It was one of them days where I wish I'd stayed at home. Uh, it was a really long, tough day. Uh, rolling about a lot more than usual. One saving grace is we have got a load of mackerel now and some absolute whoppers. Ellie's just bringing in some more now. There she is. And she's putting it back. She's being Greenpeace, putting it back. Didn't want to keep that one anyway. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, do like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next adventure shortly. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's got me, it's got me, it's got me. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these <laughs> <that> face. <laughs>